Good morning, kids. Good to see you all this morning. This morning, I'm going to share with you some of the most important things in my life. Okay, this doesn't include my family. Okay, this doesn't include my family, and I've missed Anita this weekend. She's been away with Baxter, but I've managed to keep at least three of them alive, so it's been okay. Uh, This is the first thing I want to share with you. Uh, This was my first toy when I grew up in Africa. Uh, I lived for four years in an urban slum, ask your mum and dads what that means, in Nairobi, and this was my one toy. Uh, Dad made it, and uh, it's still going. Uh, It's pretty indestructible, that toy, but at that age, from zero to about four and a half, that was the most important thing for me. Uh, When I got a little older, and we moved back to Australia, and we lived uh, on the coast, so south coast of New South Wales, a little town called Kayama. And then when we moved to Maribra, this was the next most important thing for me. This is my beloved Mike Stewart Max 77 bodyboard. Uh, I saved up for three years for this. This cost me $600. Okay, and I saved up so long. It was there in the surf shop at Maribra. I'd walk past it every day going to the beach. And this was the most important thing for me. I worked so long at Maribra Nursing Home in the kitchen on weekends to get this. Uh, A little later after that, I realised that I probably wasn't going to make my money in bodyboarding, but I realised that I was getting a little rounder, and so I took up running. Uh, I wouldn't touch these, you'll have to wash your hands later. Uh, But these are one pair of my running shoes. Every three or four months I get a new pair of running shoes, and I run because it's important, because there are three meals a day, and if I don't, I'll roll. And so I think this is really important for me. A little later, when I went to uni, this became the most important thing for me. Okay, this took me five and a half years. Five and a half years, every day, slaving away on this, and that's all I got out of it. Just that. In my life, there have been a number of important things, but let me share with you the most important thing, and it's this. It doesn't look new, does it? It looks pretty beaten and battered. In fact, the cover's coming off. I've had a few of these. Uh, We used to read this every breakfast. Dad would sit us down. He'd read a little part of the Bible. And then we'd all say a thank you prayer. That happened every day from when I was born to when I left home at 22, 23. What's this? What is it, Brody? A Bible. And Brody, what's in the Bible? God's what? God's Word. In fact, every single word in the Bible is the Word of God. Today we're going to hear about a bloke called Jacob. Uh, Jacob had a number of important things in his life. Uh, The first thing was he wanted to get the family name. And so he begged, borrowed and stole to get that first. The next thing he wanted was a lot of wealth. He begged, borrowed and stole to get that as well. The next thing he wanted was a wife. He worked 14 years for her. And the next thing he wanted was land. And so he moved back home to get it. But do you know what? By the end of his life, Jacob thought this was the most important thing for him too. What's that again, Brody? And what's in the Bible? God's Word. Just before he died, he stood up before his family and said, I want you guys to have this. He didn't give them a book, a bodyboard, a toy or shoes. He gave them words, God's Word. I want you to think about this question this week. And talk about it with mum and dad or your friends. What's the most important thing we can pursue in life? Let me pray, then we're going to grab our sheets. Dear God, thanks for your word. Thank you that it's the most important thing in life and death. Father, thanks for these kids. Thanks that they're all made in your image. Thank you that you love them. And thank you that you want them to have the most important thing in the world. We pray that they will grab hold of it, read it, Love it and be changed by it. In Jesus' name, amen.